Oh my goodness, look at you. You're so handsome. Oh. These guys will reach at least 15 feet in captivity. Happy Friday! It is time to go. It is time for the weekend. I'm excited. And our first act of the weekend, we're gonna go to a little event thing where they're gonna screen Jurassic Park and then there's a bunch of stuff going on right now and we're also gonna get some food. That's what we're gonna do. Yay, we're gonna have fun. I'm tired still, but not as tired as I was yesterday. No, she's an Asian water like I said. Uh, she can get a lot bigger than this. And she's almost considered an adult. She has the same tongue as a snake and the same Jacobson's organ on the roof of her mouth so that she's basically tasting the air particles. These guys have an incredible sense of smell. She can pick up the trail of uh, a dead animal or uh, a broken egg from very far away. These guys eat live, they eat dead, they eat eggs, they raid nests, they'll eat reptile eggs, bird eggs, pretty much anything that fits in their mouth. The other thing is uh, it's these big nasty claws. When they're young, they climb trees and they hide. They use these claws to get away. But when they're older, they pretty much stay on the ground. They use their claws to defend themselves and also tear meat when they're eating. And the other line of defense here is this tail. The bottom of the tail has a really sharp ridge. You see she's gearing up and whacking with it. And that's what they do. She use their tail to kind of stay away. So this is Betty Page and I can't wait till she's about seven feet. Hopefully she's super friendly by now. On his tongue, you'll see this little worm. And uh, basically underwater, it is a worm. It undulates and moves like a worm. And they sit there for hours with their mouth open, and the fish will go straight into their mouth to get that worm and good night. Speaking of dinosaurs, how prehistoric an animal this is. It really hasn't changed that much, aside from being smaller. Um, this guy will reach about 200 pounds and live about 100 years. You can find these guys down south. You can find them in uh, Carolinas, Louisiana, Florida. You can find them as far west as Texas. Now she's a plant eater, and you can tell she's built for grazing. You can see these Look, front feet I'm here are really strong. She's got like Popeye arms. <laughs> Her back feet almost look like elephant feet, and those are really big and strong to support her weight. She's got to get really heavy. What she can do if she's nervous or scared or something's trying to eat her is she can't shut her shell like a box turtle, but she can draw her head in and use these arms here, these spur thighs, as protection. <laughs> so, so she kind of disappears, and that's kind of hard to get through. Let me, let's see this bad boy. Oh my goodness, look at you. You're so handsome. He's a bit of a troublemaker. Last time I picked him up, he peed all over me. We'll see how he does today. Underneath his neck, do you guys see how the shell goes up to these like two like tusk looking things? Yes. Oh yeah. Those get really long and the bigger this guy gets, the bigger those get. That's because males will actually fight each other for females. What they do is they try to flip each other over with those. And if they succeed, the other one could actually die. Because out in Africa, if you're upside down and you're a 200 pound tortoise and you can't flip right side up, it's game over. Buster gets Aww. all the ladies. But here, <laughs> it's not going to happen in captivity. You know, they don't need to combat each other. And, and obviously, if they were flipped over, I would just flip them back over. <laughs> and the other difference with males yeah, is back on your their head. bottom of their shell, which is called their plastron, is concave. This is the arm raping version here. And it's because they kind of fit like a puzzle. He's a big, heavy, giant animal, so he needs to have that for breeding purposes. Guys, a close look at the corn snip. Yes, please. Oh, look. You little guys in the front here have never touched a snake. This is a very friendly snake, the albino corn snake. Now, this is a rat snake. You'll notice it's white. So that's not albino. This snake is actually lacking all pigment, so it's all white. But what I really like about her, her name's Lucy, by the way, oh. is she has two colorful scales, which that usually doesn't happen. She's got a black one and a red one. So oh. that's pretty neat. Now this animal's probably five or six years old. She's not done growing. That snake can get up to seven feet long. <laughs> She's friendly, not quite as friendly as the poor snake. She has a bite, but she likes to try to get away every chance that she can. This one eats mice and rats. Snakes are, are carnivorous, so there's no vegetation for this girl. Every week, I give her either a large mouse or a small rat. Silver face. 
snake. Look at it, how pretty it looks. No, it's not. No rattlesnake can pop up and make a rattling noise and hit some on top. Well, this is a bull snake. A bull snake will pretend it's a rattlesnake. It will rattle its tail against the leaf litter and make all kinds of racket and puff and hiss. Normally, it's just a bluff and they're not going to do anything. This one's never tried to bite, but it can be kind of groovy. Let's see how he is today. Now these guys live out west and they're related to the gopher snake and the pine snake. You can see how somebody could mistake this for a rattlesnake. Hmm. He doesn't bite me in the face, he's looking at me right in the eye. Alright, so this snake is a lot different than the ones I've been showing you. You can see these scales are very rough. It's a heavily keeled, scaled snake. And uh, it feels a lot different. I don't know if he's going to let me uh, go around and let you guys touch him, but if I can, I will. Children's books on, not fiction books on animals, and like reptiles, snakes, spiders, and all that. I would, that was all, I was so into that stuff when I was eight years old, so like that. You still are. Look how cool it is. Wow, look how long. It's like a cow. A <laughs> cow? I love albino snakes. This is an albino boa constrictor. He's still fairly young. This animal is only about a year old. When these guys are born, and boas, by the way, are born, they don't hatch like high bones. They yeah. actually have live young. So when these guys are born, they're already like 16 inches long. And this species, the Colombian boa, will reach about 8 to 10 feet long. Mm, wow. So they look a lot different than the snakes I just showed you. They get really heavy bodies. Uh, the boas are actually really good at climbing trees. They'll hang out up there and actually eat birds. Mm -hmm. Now ball pythons come from Africa, they're a small python species, so people really like these guys. They like them because they don't get huge, but they still look like a big beefy snake. They reach about four feet, males usually only stop around three feet, and this is an albino female ball python, also known as the royal python. And these guys come in all types of crazy colors and patterns. The reason they call it a ball python, if they get scared, they'll actually ball up into a really tight ball and protect their head in the middle. So this is Rocky, the granite Hermes python. These guys will reach at least 15 feet in captivity, to wow. half grown, like up to like 25 feet. Look at them shedding. God, look how big he is. Look at the head. Oh, 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 oh. 